Today we are going to be comparing three popular hosting options, Bluehost, Hostinger, and GoDaddy. We will cover their strengths and weaknesses, so you can make your choice between the three providers. We'll start with the key features of Bluehost. Bluehost makes it easy to install WordPress with just one click. This is great for users who want to build a blog or a website using WordPress. Bluehost offers competitive pricing, starting at around $1.99 per month for shared hosting. This price can go up upon renewal, but it's still a good deal for newcomers. You can reach Bluehost's support team 24-7 via phone or chat. This can be very helpful if you run into issues while setting up your site. As your website grows, you can easily upgrade to higher plans that allow for more visitors and features. Bluehost is known for good uptime and fast loading speeds, which are important for keeping visitors happy. Now, let's look at the key features of Hostinger. Hostinger is known for its very affordable plans, starting at around $2.99 per month. This makes it a great choice for budget-conscious users. Hostinger has a simple setup process. Their user interface is easy to navigate, making it simple for beginners to get started. Hostinger offers good performance and uptime. Users often report that their websites load quickly. Hostinger provides 24-7 customer support via live chat. While they do not have phone support, many users find their chat support helpful. Hostinger has a built-in website builder that allows users to create sites easily without needing coding skills. Next, we have the key features of GoDaddy. GoDaddy is famous for domain registration. You can easily buy a domain name and set up hosting all in one place. GoDaddy's interface is straightforward, making it easy for beginners to create and manage their websites. GoDaddy offers different hosting options, including shared, VPS, and dedicated hosting. This gives users flexibility based on their needs. GoDaddy has customer support available all day, every day. You can reach them via phone or chat. GoDaddy offers a website builder that is easy to use, allowing anyone to create a website without technical knowledge. Pricing is a key factor when choosing a hosting provider. Bluehost plans start at about $1.99 per month for shared hosting. This price is often a promotional rate and may increase after the first term. Bluehost usually includes a free domain for the first year. Hostinger is one of the cheapest options, with plans starting around $2.99 per month. This makes it very appealing for new users, though similar to others, prices may go up upon renewal. GoDaddy's shared hosting starts at approximately $5.99 per month. While this is higher than Bluehost and Hostinger, it includes a range of features and is a popular choice for many. Bluehost is user-friendly, especially for WordPress users. The one-click installation makes it easy to set up a WordPress site. However, if you are new to websites, you might need to learn some basics about WordPress. Hostinger is designed with beginners in mind. The setup process is simple, and their dashboard is easy to understand, making it a great option for first-time users. GoDaddy is also very user-friendly. Its website builder allows you to create a site quickly and easily, making it ideal for those who want to get online fast without technical knowledge. With Bluehost, you have a lot of control over your website. If you use WordPress, you can choose from thousands of themes and plugins to make your site unique. This is excellent for users who want to customize their sites. Hostinger allows some customization, but it is a bit more limited compared to Bluehost. Users can choose from various templates, but advanced features may not be as flexible. GoDaddy provides a decent amount of customization, especially through its website builder. You can make changes easily, but it may not offer as many options as using WordPress on Bluehost. If you plan to sell products online, consider the e-commerce features of each provider. Bluehost supports e-commerce through WordPress with plugins like WooCommerce. This allows you to set up an online store with a lot of features for managing products and payments. Hostinger also supports e-commerce and has built-in tools to help you create an online store. However, it may not have as many advanced features as Bluehost. GoDaddy offers e-commerce features, too. You can easily set up an online store with its website builder. 
many users find it convenient for small to medium-sized shops. Choosing between Bluehost, Hostinger, and GoDaddy depends on your needs and budget. If you want a user-friendly experience, especially for WordPress, Bluehost is a solid choice. Its good performance and customer support make it ideal for bloggers and small business owners. If you're looking for the cheapest option, Hostinger stands out with very low prices and a simple setup process. It's great for beginners who want to start a website on a tight budget. On the other hand, if you prefer an all-in-one solution for domain registration and hosting, GoDaddy is a good pick. Its user-friendly website builder and flexible hosting plans can meet various needs.